Up first this evening, a parliamentary committee is probing whether there was any nepotism when the scandal hit Nestle hired a company to carry out a multi-million dollar project. National Energy Solutions Limited Nestle paid out millions of dollars to a specially selected company even though there was no written contract. Parliament's Public Administration and Appropriations Committee, PAAC, is determined to have Nestle's former managing director address the issue. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm explains. This is the situation. Nestle has so far paid over $12 million to a company called C&G Peak Energy Solutions for work done on community access points capsites even though there was no written contract. Angela Prendergast of Nestle explains how. In the case of Peak, um, an invoice was presented to the um, accounts department this would have been approved by the managing director. That managing director is Carolyn Warren, who has since resigned. Ms. Warren told the PAAC that she could not attend Wednesday's meeting, so the committee will intensify efforts for her to answer questions. It turns out that Ms. Warren usually worked with the head of Peak Energy, Constantine Gordon, during her time at Nationwide News Network. On Monday, Mr. Gordon resigned as general manager for Nationwide News, adding that the company did not benefit from the operations of Peak Energy. Given the developments... It therefore is incumbent on this committee to find out the relationship and how this process went, how, how the process evolved, also, if there was any competitive tendering between persons who knew them, each other, closely. To make matters worse, Peak was specially selected by Nestle. Why would there be a sole sourcing methodology here and not the thing be subject to competitive bidding? Well, I, as I've said before, I'm not aware. I don't know why it wasn't done. This would have to be the um, acts of the MD. Meanwhile, the PAAC was told that the Universal Service Fund, USF, paid over $87 million to Nestle to work on cap sites. Nestle then contracted Peak to do the job. But why didn't the USF do the work in the first place? The cap sites were having problems with their electricity bill. So it was a policy directive to equip all new new cap sites and maybe the existing ones with the solar system. That's how we came about engaging Nestle. The PAAC will continue its deliberations. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.